I'm Dr. Vince Mosca, Professor of Orthopedics at the University of Washington School of Medicine and a Pediatric Orthopedic Surgeon at Seattle Children's Hospital. Along with Xander today, I'm going to demonstrate how to assess subtalar joint motion. In this portion of the exam, I'm going to show how to manually assess subtalar joint motion, the motion that occurs between the talus and the calcaneus, or the talus and the so-called acetabulum pedis. The ankle joint is a pure up and down dorsiflexion, plantar flexion joint. When the ankle is plantar flexed, it can rock side to side when one attempts to invert and evert the subtalar joint. On the other hand, when the ankle is dorsiflexed, the talus is locked in the ankle mortis and any side to side motion that occurs is only in the subtalar joint. So to assess subtalar motion, we dorsiflex the ankle to neutral 90 degrees. The hand that's going to move the subtalar joint is the one that's cupped on the back of the calcaneus. This is the hand that will move the subtalar joint down and in, inversion, up and out, eversion. Down and in, up and out. And one can get a sense for what's happening by making sure that the hand is cupping the calcaneus and one is experiencing what's happening with the calcaneus. One can add to that a finger over the tail and navicular joint. So as the cupped hand is moving the subtalar joint down and in, one can feel the navicular move over the talus, and when everts up and out, one can feel the navicular move away from the head of the talus. It's not appropriate to try to move the subtalar joint with the forefoot. There's hypermobility in many feet between the tail and navicular joint and the calcaneocuboid joint, so-called Schulparts joints. In an individual who has a fused subtalar joint, tarsal coalition, these two joints, telonavicular and calcaneocuboid, may develop hypermobility. So if one tries to assess subtalar motion with the forefoot, one can see motion that looks like down and in, up and out subtalar motion, but it's actually false motion through those joints. So again, the best way is cup the hand on the calcaneus with the ankle dorsiflexed, then with the cupped hand and the, left, and the other hand just stabilizing the forefoot, Try to move the subtalar joint down and in, plantar flexion, internal rotation, also known as inversion, and with that same cupped hand, try to move the subtalar joint up and out, dorsiflexion and external rotation, which is eversion.